Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Octave. This is a brand new side-scrolling horror game, just came out today. Looks pretty cool, and we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. I don't think he got the shot off. I don't think it happened. Was that an ex-girlfriend or something? She seemed pretty pissed. All right, wait, what? Were we the guy that was gonna be shot? It's just kind of throwing us in here, isn't it? Oh, this is the pause menu. Do I have, okay. I was gonna check and make sure that subtitles were on. I don't, I don't know what we're getting into, but... Maybe this is like a dream sequence? Sometimes horror games start off that way. Don't know what that was? Is there an inventory or something? Tab and I both don't do anything. Uh, but yeah, this is five bucks on Steam, by the way. I'm not aware of any of the developer's previous games. We can't click on stuff in the background. What's this? Oh! If you double click, he runs. That's cool. Ooh, we lit a candle. Okay, good. <laughs> you know, sometimes I like it when they just toss you into these games, but right now I'm just a little confused about what's happening. I think the last time I played a game that looked like this was uh, Lovecraft Tales, which I don't know if that game ever took off or if anything ever became of it. Alright, so are we walking around in a giant circle for a ritual? That could be what we're doing. So there's a third candle that needs to be lit. Oh, 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 did you see that? A spirit walked to the left. They're trying to show me the way here. Maybe I just missed it, okay. Wait. I mean, is it just right here? Do I need to go all the way back? Here it is. What? Well, I didn't even see that earlier. Okay. Lighting candle simulator so far. I'm hoping to get more of a story eventually. Maybe we'll find out more after we light all the candles. Disturbed those crows. This is the great commentary you can expect on my channel. I just narrate exactly what happens. Did I miss a- I missed a candle, I think. It'll tell me in just a second. Oh! Didn't miss anything on that screen, it was just... That was the crow disturb scene, I guess. We're halfway there, we're halfway through the circle. Not gonna lie, kind of waiting for something else to happen. Like, I'm not trying to rush it or anything, but... Let's... Let's get it moving. I think one of the disadvantages of having a Let's Play channel that nobody really talks about is that often your content is really, really dependent on the game. <laughs> for entertainment. Hi! Oh, my cursor's shaking. That's kind of a cool effect. Can I get people? Did 
you just throw up on me? Are you serious? Just threw up on me. All right, that was just a dream. That didn't really happen. Hello, crows. Am I back uh, another screen? Hmm. So I guess I straight up died there. That was a... A death. Should I go back? I, I'm guessing I should light a candle and then go back. Or maybe that was supposed to happen. Yeah, here's a candle right here. We'll see if that thing's still there. But yeah, this is what I mean, like... The hell am I supposed to do here? I get okay, that was- we were supposed to die. Huh. How's everyone's day? Sorry I didn't post a video yesterday, I was feeling pretty awful. Um, I think it was be oh, okay, here we go, I missed this one, it was behind a tree. I think I was just really run down, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a cold or anything, but I was just way behind on sleep and I think it caught up to me. Alright, let's go to the next screen. So we've got three more candles to light, I assume. Up, up, up. He's scared. That is kind of a cool effect. I just wish maybe, like, the character talked to himself or something. Okay, let's go. Up, up, up. That's... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thanks a lot for tattling on me, apparently. Couldn't help but notice it was after I lit your candle that they appeared. Interesting monster design so far. We've seen some... Cool looking dudes, at least. Nothing happened in that screen, I guess. It was just a transition slide. Do I turn this? No? Not yet, I guess. There we go. There's one. Where's the last one? I'm assuming I can't... Can I go down in there? Alright, there it goes. Into the swamp. Well... Never mind, I guess. Alright, we'll light this and then we'll go back. What's this question mark? Hang on. Hang on, what's this? This was... What? That's where I- that's where I walked just now. Is that- is that like a death point? Oh! There were hands that came up and you've gotta- you've gotta avoid them. Oh, gotcha. See, there they are. You see them in the reeds? Okay, there the hands come up. Bada boom. Okay, so... That's interesting. Environments look pretty great. This bridge, I like it. Here's the last one. There it is. Should 
just pulled the rug out from underneath me, didn't they? <sighs> what? Where are we? Do I gotta watch out for the hands here? Is there another candle? An alternative candle that we can light? Wait, did it? It got rid of one of my candles. We had one left. I had seven candles lit, now I have six. When did that happen? Am I going crazy? Maybe that's part of the horror. <laughs> that's the true horror. If you really want to scare a gamer, you just, you take away something that they thought they had already earned. Oh man. So nothing happened there. Cool. I think my main criticism of the game so far is that there's just lots of screens where nothing happens. Which can be good sometimes in a horror game. Like you expect something to happen and then nothing does. Here I think we can make things a little more exciting though. See, this was supposed to be the last one. What the heck? Oh, oh. Thanks for just telling me what to do. What's that? Heard something. Puzzle? Puzzle. Something to do with these symbols. Oh, another person. This is the guy who tries to shoot us. You need help, buddy? All right, well, you know what, you, you, you can just, you can eat him. Oh, he's not interested in him. Okay, come on, we'll shut the gate. <laughs> Dipshit. Get fucked. Yeah. All right, but um, apparently I, maybe I need to go back in. Oh, okay. Well, you know. All right. Apparently, that's what I'm supposed to do. So, can I leave now? I'm kind of confused about what the objective is here. Like, do I get caught? Do I have to gore the monster? Is that the idea? With the gate? Maybe that's what I have to do. Okay, let's try to time it that way. All right. Come here, dude. Ooh! That is what I had to do. That's gotta hurt. Now I'm gonna walk over him. I'm certain nothing bad will happen. Okay, good. <laughs> hey man, thanks for the help. What? What the? See the little imp guy? Oh, he's gone! Yeah, you're freaking welcome. What? There's a puzzle here, okay. Um... I don't know what it is yet. Well, let's see if there's something else we can check out here. Ow! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, sure. I don't know what those mean, so can't really help you. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Some of these symbols are the same. That one is right there. I think that one's up there, too. And that one? Yes. Okay, wait. One. Alright, I feel really dumb right now. About now, let's go ahead and go through that door. Thank you.
where's that final candle? It's really starting to bother me. Do I go in the car? Alright. Okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh... What, what it... Don't act like you wrote something down, because I know you didn't. What is, what is that? E? What is E? Did you pick up a box of ecstasy, or... Because, because pressing the E button does nothing here. Alright, we'll come back to that, I guess. Whoa, there's lots of things to click on. Let's unplug the TV. Oh. Something came on just now. Right, we got lots of puzzles here. Lots of puzzles. Lots of, uh... Valves. Yeah, I got it. How do you- how do you- Here's- here's my inventory. Okay. I haven't had to use an inventory until now, so, you know. I wish you- instead of just being like, no, you can't do that, it would have a little descriptor or something? I guess this is trying to be like a- like a game where there's- oops, I clicked out of it. Cursor lock is one line of code, people. Um, I guess instead of having words, it's just trying to be one of those games where there's you know, like Dropsy, where it's universal. But then, but then you look under language English, but there hasn't been any need for it, so I don't know why that's an option. We'll come back to these valves. Oh, this is definitely like a, some puzzle. Ugh. Gross, man. All right, so can we fog up the mirror somehow? That's a common horror game trick. Doesn't seem- it seems like it's cold water, I guess. Should we pick this up? Thank you, we got a bottle, a skull, and a, a, an E block. I guess it's like a, a children's block or something like that. Okay, this is a code for something. Up, down, down, uh, down. Up, wait, down, up, up, down, down. I can't believe I got it backwards, sorry guys. Alright, we got a book. We're not going to have much time for reading, so I'm assuming that's... What did I- what did I just do? I just did something, but I don't know what it was. Got some boards. Wow, they're just loading us up with puzzle items now. Oh, shit. What? I don't have it in my inventory, so... Oh, this was just for... A hidden hole in the wall. I got an S now. So I'm guessing I'll need to spell something out. I just... They, they really threw a ton of puzzle items out at once, didn't they? Two padlocks here, so we need, we need two keys to get into the fridge. Can I... There's, there's two cats there. Why are there... I don't think there's supposed to be two cats. Hmm. Alright, let's open up the cabinet. What we got? Another book. Can you read it? Nope. Got a key. Alright, does this key happen to go to this fridge? By, by chance. Okay, goes to that one. So now I got, I got one more key I need to get. Figures the first one would be a freebie. N. E-S-N. Spells out ESPNs. So they're a sports fan. Got it. Um... Should I fill up the bottle with water and put it in the bowl? Is the cat thirsty? The cat might be thirsty. Maybe that's why they're so angry. You know how some people get hangry? Maybe the cat's like... Fangry? It's 
thirsty. Okay, what is this? This is the answer for a puzzle. Down, up, up, down, down. I'm wondering if that's for the valves, because I believe there were five of those? There were. Okay. Down, up, up, down, down. I think this is it. Yeah, this is the... What? What? Spooky. Do we have hot water now? We sure do. Alright, what does it say? Four. Thanks. Cool. It says four, guys. Puzzle solved. Um... Wish we had a tool to remove this board. That would be pretty... Pretty good. I gotta get back to that bridge. Have you forgotten about the bridge? Alright, what is the four for? Is it... If that's one part of a code... this V nerves perhaps now that we need another E for that it could spell veins we just need an I I'm trying to think of something that'd be kind of I don't know horror related I gotta get that uh, dude let's get let's get that cross just just break the boards out knock it down all of a sudden, you got the cross, man. It was cat food, not a book. It was cat food, not a book. It wasn't a book, it was fucking cat food. It wasn't a book, it was cat food. Are you serious? I need to look at it again, but it's not here. I can't believe that that was cat food. Like, are you gonna... You gonna eat it? You get? Did I just do that for nothing? I mean, maybe we gotta piss him off and then walk out of the room. I don't know how that's really gonna help us. Aha! <laughs> you little shit. Alright. You knocked over the thing. Of course. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be salty about that for a little bit. No, come on, this goes to the lock. Don't- Don't play with me. I'm not in a playing sort of mood right now. Ooh. There we go. Damn it. What was that? Hmm. Of course. Did the keys look exactly the alike? I could have sworn they did. I'll have to go back and look. Maybe they didn't. Great. Fuse, huh? Um, okay. So... Maybe we can finally do stuff out here now. Oh! Wait, what? I have not seen this hammer before, is that new? Okay. Hammer, open this. Hammer, open that. Please. Okay, it's gotta do it. Gotta do it a couple times, I bet. Nope. Why is it... <laughs> okay, I know what we do with the hammer. I'm just... I'm... I'm very amused that it makes a sound against that, but like nothing else that you do that's improper makes a sound effect. Interesting. Yeah, we... Obviously, thanks. Do it there. Into the... Well, hello. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at what we can click on. Do we... Do we need three fuses, I'm guessing? Let's look in the trash. Okay. I got more boards. I guess to maybe board something up. 
Can you... Alright, this is safe. That makes sense, because now... Now the number makes sense. So we've got to have... Three more numbers in order to open the safe. Ah, uh, There's a two right there. Yeah, I see that. I see it. Thanks. Okay, well, we've got two digits now. Um, I have not found anything else. Hello? Oh, he's scared. Okay. Alright, so I turned on the electricity. Maybe it turned on the light outside, although... I don't know why it would. No, nope, nothing's happening over here. What? Okay. So I got the- I got the key for the fridge. But why? What ha what- I didn't- Okay, I'm just gonna- just gonna go to the fridge now. Come on. Stop taking your sweet time. Let's move it. Alright, we'll talk about that at the end. Let's see. Please work. Thank you. You gotta be shitting me. What do I do with all these boards? And make a ladder to get the cross to kill the ghost in the tub. That's what we gotta do. Let's do it. Things are coming together. I just... I don't know. I'll leave my thoughts for the end. Sorry, I... Keep getting all, like, distracted. That is what we do. Okay, we got the cross. I just... I feel like we have to use this on the bathtub girl, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, we totally used it on here. Here we go, here we go. Did I die? What? What? Okay. What? 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 How are we back here? What happened? Game, you can't just do that. You can't just... You can't just teleport us to another location like that. Is that the last candle? No, it got rid of another candle. Again. That's the second time it's done that. Whoo. Alright. Back to the bridge, I guess. No, we're back here. What? So we died. Right? Like, it, it threw us back to a checkpoint. Am I wrong? Alright. I gotta be wrong. Like, cuz... We no longer have the cross. So I guess we just go back to the tub. And maybe she left something behind for us. Maybe it's another number. Five. So we got four, two, and five. That's not enough. It's not enough to solve the safe, though. So there's gotta be... something else. I mean, if it's 425 in order, and then another number, we could guess the last one? Um... Somehow, I don't think that that's right, though. I think that there's gotta be... 
Okay. And I guess it would just automatically... Wow, that is what you do. Wow, there's the final candle. We did it. What's happening? So why are we lighting the candle exactly? Everything's like decaying around us. What? I can't leave though. And I can't press this. What? <laughs> what? What do I need to be doing right now? Inventory is gone. So I guess I'm dead, huh? Okay, I guess we won't go that way. This is... Well... Well, wait, what? What? I'm confused. Hi there. I'm sorry, that did not, that was not, that was not obvious. What? Okay. Are these things just so stupid they just patrol like this? Ah, okay. Sure, man. Ah, uh, I probably could have made it. Ooh, there's two of them. Let's go, let's go. We got a, a brief window. Come on, man. You freaking idiot. Oh my god. He wouldn't run when I told him to run, so... Come on, go up. Alright. Here we go. Hi. At least it at least it checkpoints us there. There's the hands. Run. 
There they are. There's the hands. You gotta watch out for those. Apparently. Oh. Hands right there. Okay. We made it. What's waiting for us at the end of all this? I feel like the end of the game is pretty close. What? What's going on here? Okay. This is a teleport? What's going on? She can't go past this. I'm gonna die. What? Wait. Okay. So... Okay. I think there's like a teleportation system here. There's gotta be. Oh, okay, you gotta click on the skull that you wanna teleport to. I understand. Okay. So I gotta light all these, really? Okay. Damn it. Uh... Can you please run when I tell you to run? Okay, I gotta figure out... We gotta lure her over here. That's what we gotta do. Because these candles are... This one's... Like, furthest away. Okay, here we go. Can you please run when I tell you to run? Thank you. Okay. He won't run, I don't know why. Okay. Oh shit. We need to get him closer over here. I guess that could have been our opportunity. There we go. Did it. So. <laughs> I like how the screen, go screen goes white and the menu button doesn't. <sighs> okay, so what's up? What happens? There's a startling lack of closure here. What's this? I took his car keys? Okay... Can we drive out of here? Everything's lit up now. That's the game. Okay, before I get into my review of it, I should disclose that I did get this game for free from the developer. So thank you for that. Um, and it looks like it was made all by one person, which is... Very commendable. Um, yeah, he did everything. Art, music... Everything. So...
So, uh, as far as the game goes, you know, great job making all this by yourself. The art is probably a strong point. Um, you know, it just, aesthetically, it's really cool. I think it has some major flaws in it, though. Um, for one thing, there's just, there's really no story. And this is a, this is the type of game that could really, really benefit from any words at all on screen. I guess the idea was to make it universal, but like, you can change your language. And I guess this is just for, you know, the menu screen, but... I mean, it seems like it would be a pretty easy job to just have little, um... Tooltips that pop up when you try to do stuff, because... Or at least have the character talk to themselves, say, say certain things, like... To hint at, at what's happening, at least have something for the inventory, because I did not know that that thing was cat food. I, I legit thought it was a book. Um... And that was a big problem, because if I saw that it was cat food, I would have just put it in the cat bowl immediately. I, um... I think it's pretty short for a $5 game. This ran about, uh, 50 minutes for me. Little on the short side. Especially for something that appears to have no replay value. Seems like that's the one ending that you can get. Um... But yeah, there just, there really needs to, it needs to feel more interactive. Cause like, when you, when you use an item in an improper way and it just goes like, ba bum I mean, I don't know why it's not working or, you know, if it, if it, something as simple as like, the key doesn't fit, came up for when I was trying repeatedly to put that key into the fridge, uh, that would have saved me some time. Cause I thought perhaps it just wasn't taking to the right way, but, you know. I don't know if anyone else had a problem with that. Might just be me. Um, just think there probably should have been more words. There weren't any notes to read or anything. It would have been cool to like, just find some written stuff. I can't believe I'm saying this because I've played a lot of games recently that were overloaded with notes. And that was pretty much all you did in the game was read notes and then find keys. This one had actual puzzles. So it's like most of the hard part was there. Most of the stuff that other games completely leave out of the equation, actual puzzles, actual, like, gameplay, I guess, was, was in this thing. It's just all the stuff that I've seen other games completely overdo it on because it's easy to do. You know, writing notes, having the character say stuff, little little tooltips that come up. That was completely missing from this game. I think it, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I mean, really, you just have to write stuff. <laughs> just write, like, like little notes about maybe, maybe left about the owners of the house. You know, there, there could be some creepy lore world building going on there. And there was just a lot of transitions in this game that didn't make much sense or were pretty jarring. You know, trying to cross the bridge, falling down. Okay, I get that one but then battling with bathtub girl and then being transported back to the forest. Didn't really understand that one. Having the candle fight and then going back to the forest. Didn't really understand that. The transitions would really smooth out if you had some dialogue in the game, some, you know, just some written word. Um, I think if, if that stuff was added, would have enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, as of, you know, right now, I wouldn't, recommend this but you know I'm not sorry I played it I don't know if <laughs> it, it, it gives I give it a I'm not a fan of numeric ratings but I would give this a 5 out of 10 currently maybe maybe like edging towards a 4 um, but you know that's the numeric rating doesn't take into account how the pros and cons balance with each other properly in my opinion so I don't typically do a numeric um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about Octave. I did anticipate it being a little longer, so I'm a little disappointed about that, but, uh, you know, I, it cannot be understated. Like, great job for a one-man, uh, effort. This is great. I mean, some of the stuff that I see come out of single dev crews are honestly incredible. Like, uh, as much as I didn't care for Silence of the Sleep, that was made by one guy, and like, same with this, which this kind of reminded me of Silence of the Sleep in some parts. Uh, 
Just like, great job on that. It, the work is definitely to be commended. I don't think that the game is there yet, though. Anyway, that's what I thought. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Think critically.